The Paris streets are running red, your blood in the guillotine has shed. Bound for the lanes, the tribbles roll. Doomed is their cargo, death their goal. Death for lady, death for the lord. Their angry verdict is a howling hold. How is this nation noblest life to the sharp decision, decision of a sharper knife? I've seen a Paris cell, prison cell, a person who's living, there living man dwell. We discover a certain rise, a Marquis of Dubuque's, his weary eyes are shut closed, will soon be for forfeit breath. He speaks of life, of life and death. Is there a, a after life a deathless soul? A heaven to which to aspire as to dwell? You shall decide what no one may know. Silent is dumb. Faith has no proofs. It will show. I am alone. His most soul will be sorrow for me. My enemies dread me. And my friends abhor me. For all I know my life. An ugly word is no accomplice. Attend my absurd. Perfumed and menacing a species. She and I are proud to say lived I seem to die. Never a trace of a murder. Class emotions. I have went to my way. She followed her own notions. She is here as I am dead. So fine her breed. She will arch her eyebrows and exclaim indeed. The cell door opens. Citizen Joseph. Yeah, is the Trimble's here? Not yet, observed Crat, but uh, no fear. The window never misses. The widow never misses. The widow? Ah, oh, the widow. I, the guillotine. The people's will of it. Arisket, you are to die. How true. And are you, my friend, and and so uh, are you. I shall, I came to tell you that a woman here, there, is asking to see you. What? She is young and fair, and judging by the switches of her dress, some have thought as a skirt, nothing less. I believe all women are aristocrat by birth. No, my old and ugly woman treads the earth. Oh, you should see my wife. Yes, I should be proud. Shall I admit the lady? Yes. I am not allowed, nevertheless. Oh, Marquis suffered surprise. Ah, my snuff box. Jelano. From the king. I spit on it. Yes, you spit on everything. The widow will spit on your head. Gago Jellard storms out. Slamming door. And that is that is my equal. Why do I do I why do I dread this meeting? How can be the fair who ventures tither to this loathsome lair? A Marcus of Bits of Wolfies, alas, my love and faith are brittle as they their glass. A lady Bercuti, but she had three other lovers. Well, she drove me mad. No one, no one would risk her head to save her by to discard a lover soon to die. Marcus, my wife. Marcus, Master you, Master my Lord Connor, can you excuse me? Oh, too much honour. What a world where gentlewomen are treated like vulgar criminals. Won't you be seated? I totally fear I must cut short my visit. Time is so precious, how days. Ah, it is. How did you hear that I must soon go hence? A charming abbey told me in Cobblers. What did you say? I scared, gave my head indeed. I arched my eyebrows, exclaimed, indeed. 
I am just fresh you choose to undertake a long and tiresome journey for my sake. I am delightful company, I may say. We replied at cards, as time passed away, I lost a deal of cut money. My regrets I squandered, my last coin. And then as miss a charming man, an Irishman, such grace, such wit, such... Never mind, never mind. He picked for a place beside me on my couch. His him, 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 him name, my Lord O'Connor. Yes, be sure. He, uh, he is touched by a cord. Oh, yes. And you were kind. And to him or you. Oh, the dying man does not count. What is very too? No doubt he is waiting for you now. No doubt. You mustn't strain his patience. They all will swear that out. But when you join him, would tell him I regret. I am not at liberty he might have met. You have liked a you say very, very much, very much such conversation, some such high spirits such. This prison has no place for you, farewell. I prefer the room is ugly, I prefer my cell. Your your cell? Oh course I am a prisoner too. That's what I came for. What? To die with you? To die with me? A bird for yes would not fail. But, yes, there's a guillotine. A mere detail. Put me, my Chris. But I confess you, you almost made me my show surprise. What less did you expect of me? We have lived so long apart, I had forgotten. I am a heart, you've forgotten many things beside the happy bridegroom and the heavy bride. And so had I, my coat, the life he led, makes love a frivolous pastime. And we need the shock of death to show us we are human. Marcus and Marcus, no man and woman, once you were tender. Once you were sincere, so long ago, so short a time. Oh dear, our minds are like a bird for the buoy, a dust weaving bird, rose, dead rosemary, lavender and musk. Things are forgotten, silly things sublime, a fallen ribbon with hivered, rose of rhyme. A millennium old providence will lilt, it says all in his dream, like the diamond spit. God knows how long ago. Do you remember? Do you remember how fast I wooed you by a glowing ember of winter's fires? You were younger then. Yeah, I was. Yes, I was the proudest and the happiest of men. I thought of the innocent of a maiden. Maids, alas, how the ages change us. They come and pass. Do you remember by the Haron, the grey old castle on the hill? The bramble pathway to the mill, the plant the rose. You plant the rose, we alone, your four cousins need no chaperone. How hot the days were, and how they sh- the shrill, cool the crickets seemed to thrill. A tremble of the mill well had drawn. Oh me, what happy days were those. She gone, gone there, with the perfume of the rose. I called you to hear I know, I own. May I, my mercy, cast a chill. My fancy cast a chill. I called you an mess. You will admit my knight's name is known. We were like fledglings newly flown. Yes, like a little children, Jack and Jill, with many a scratch and many a spill. We scrambled over stick and stone. Oh, what a happy days were those. Gone with the perfume of the coast, those. Over the widows, sick, quickly soon, with Daisy and with Velfordilla, we ran at dawn to catch the trail of larks, wind, wing, wild wing, of sun would blow. In orange groves we heard a moan of long, long, nightingales, until you pressed my hand, a tender feel, was it 
was it in your touch, in your tone? Ah, oh, me, what happy days were those, gone with the perfume of the rose. My quest, might we not yet alone for all our warriors, for we, for we choose? But though it's still the perfume is gone, but Amaris, I am met the rose, kept the rose. You kept the rose, but will it bloom again? Her hat's in heaven. You twain, Amaris gets the turmoil awaits. Is there heaven, Doris? Come and see.